Hey everyone, this is your Mini of the East, and welcome to a Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer. This one I think many of us have been looking forward to since last week, because we only got a brief snippet of the Big Hero 6 trailer that was supposed to be shown off for Tokyo Game Show. And lo and behold, we got the Tokyo Game Show trailer in its entirety in about close to four minutes. And kind of coincidentally, close to midnight this dropped and it's also my birthday <laughs> so happy birthday to me for Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer then <laughs> all right so yeah it's already like pat about 10 12 10 so forgive me if I don't sound too loud I don't want to wake up my folks here but anyways let's see what we got in store for the Kingdom Hearts Tokyo Game Show 2018 trailer Let's go in three, two, one. Checkmate. Oh, wait. It's the door, da na. Hikari wa yami ni hai box sur. Jeez, Zaynor and Erequest. God, that chess game is gonna be. Oh. Sora gets a visor. Hey, big hero six. <laughs> oh my god, Sora with the visor. <laughs> wow. So, I wonder if it's the visor from the... Oh, oh yeah, here we go. It's Baymax. Ooh, reaction commands. Oh yeah, I like nano arms. Ability for the Keyblade. Ooh. That was like the, the boss fight. Alright. Here we go. Yep. Oh, Roxas! Oh! Roxas! Finally get to see Roxas! ってことじゃないかな。リフ。今大丈夫ですか？あ、ポール・ラパンツェル。おお。ミテ、あれは何かしら？白くてふわふわ。おお。ディヴィ・ジョーンズ。私はエルサを連れ戻したいの。おお。
All right, let's try and do some of this thing board. Ah, Davy Jones. So we are doing both Dead Man's Chest and At World's End because the Kraken is supposed to be alive in Dead Man's Chest but was killed by Jack Sparrow at the end of the movie. So we might be doing a, an amalgamation of the two films, I believe. All right. Oh, I love this. There, This is a neat callback to the very first trailer for Kingdom Hearts 3 back in 2013, like almost half a decade ago. So it's nice to see that this scene is still relevant in the story. But it also shows that we can probably have a connection to how Sora's going to help Aqua. There, now, there's that, been, that theory that Sora is still going to be able to help Aqua come out of the darkness. Not just the, out of the realm of darkness, but her fall to darkness. Just what the heck is going on here? All right. So, so I hope you're fine, Rox. It's nice seeing the Twilight Tang gang in their new outfits, as we saw before. And they're all, all going to go to the digital Twilight Town to find Roxas or a key to finding him. Oh, my God. Yep, using the Black Pearl to fight the Kraken. And, oh, my God, this boss fight's going to look so cool. All right. <laughs> okay, this is kind of funny. All right, this seems to be like a mini game of sorts with these Heartless. Kind of like the mushrooms we did back in the previous Kingdom Hearts games. There seems to be how many foes you got to take and a point value. Okay, okay, I'm trying to remember the guy's, this guy's name, I think it's Marshmallow, and it, this seems to be a boss fight. Judging from that health meter, Frozen's probably going to be one of the last few Disney worlds we go to in the game at, at this far point. There we see Ansem Seeker of Darkness. Okay, this is catching me off guard. Vexen and Demix, they are alive <clears throat> Vexen's got the yellow eyes, so is he a vessel as well? I was surprised I chose Demix to become a vessel if that's the point. I mean, if he's alive, I just wonder if he is going to uh, Xehanort himself, but we got to wait to see his eyes first. We kind of want to do something like this. And it is the Recuplica. We've always been trying to one-up each other. So even the Riku replica is a Xehanort as well. But it's also nice to see Riku's older or younger look in the Unreal Engine at this point. It looks good. But when, what's his relevance to becoming a Xehanort at this point? The, or, the other organization members, I can understand, but why the Riku replica? What's his relevance? Hmm, that Oh wait, this isn't the Chamber of Sleep. This is... Ugh. God, I always forget the name of this world. It, I know it's the first world in Birth by Sleep. But this world's back alive now, or it's back to normal. It's now no longer Castle Oblivion. How did it get back to this state? So, is it possible to unlock a world back to its original state? If Benitez has found Ventus, that is not good. And oh my god, Aqua, your dark form. Oh, I love the design. I, it sands me. It sands me to see you in this state. Mm. And ah, uh, Zayanort, you motherfucker! You look so good in the engine, but my God, I still want to punch you in the face for so how much misery you've caused everyone. And we see Aqua fighting off against. The shadow. Oh no, the, not the shadow, the guardian. And this is before she gets norted. So, that's also leading to the theory people are thinking that Aqua's possessed by the guardian. Which could be a plausible theory, but we have no idea for sure. Okay, there's Demix's face. If I can tell just slightly, he does have yellow eyes. So he could be another vessel. And that cloak, which suggests he's carrying a body. 
I'm going to say he's carrying Ven's body. And he's encountering Enzo. So, oh, what's going to happen here? Oh my god, there's like way too much to take in here. Uh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, Enzo and Luxord. Oh, Lee and I saw in Twilight Town at the top of the tower. Seems they're going to be together for a scene in the later in the game. Oh, oh Terranort makes a return. So I wonder how this is going to play into the effect. Oh my god. What's the relevance of this? Oh, Aqua. What is Ven going to do here? Considering this is... This is... No, oh, okay. Land of Departure. That was the name of the world. What is happening here with Venitas and Aqua in the Land of Departure? And this is before she... Or probably after she gets... Out of that dark state. How does this happen? Yep, and this is the scene from the CGI intro cinematic for 2.0.2 uh, with Sora getting Aqua out of the realm of darkness. This could be sometime getting her out. So even then, 0 0.2 was hinting at an event to Kingdom Hearts 3. Oh, and Sora going to Ven's aw awakening. Even the awakening still looks the exact same in the Unreal Engine. Although it might have a little more detail to make it look like a stained glass window. Can you? And Sora and Kairi looking over the sunset uh, on Destiny Islands. We're going way back. To Kingdom Hearts 1. But together we shall unlock the Keyblade War secrets. Uh, once Xehanort got planned this time for. he Is he finally going to achieve his plan of figuring out the secret behind Kingdom Hearts and the secret of what happened behind the Keyblade War? Even though some of us who play Union Cross would know some of the events that happen, but we're still iffy on how the details are happening. Oh, oh. Mm. Lee crying. I'm just going to assume this is the point he's going to have a reunion with Iroxas or Shion, but this is the same scene where Kyrie and Lee are talking to her. I'm going to say it's the latter with Xi'an coming back in some way. Hold up. Oblivion Keyblade with a hood. In this area. This is Roxas. This is Roxas' return. We're finally going to see Roxas finally return in all his glory. But I'm trying to figure out what it... Where does this take place? I can't figure out where this happens at all. Mm. Man, I was originally going to make this uh, just a reaction video, but I was not expecting this much from this trailer. This was so much to break down here. And just in my own analysis. Man, what an early birthday present for me indeed. I loved this trailer and just breaking down many of the details that just went by so fast for me to even try and process here anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it please leave a comment like share and subscribe for more videos if you like this video please leave a comment in the comment section down below so with that said this has been your man of the east until next time take care everyone